comets are icy bodies that are releasing gases. The so-called tail on them is created because comets are icy and when they get closer to the sun, they warm up and release gases, making a visible atmosphere around a comet and sometimes even a tail. So they are not that large, similar in size to asteroids. But unlike asteroids, comets can be seen with a naked eye. One such comet is Halley's Comet. Its existence was known for many millennia. European Space Agency also sent a Gyoto spacecraft and it concluded that Halley's Comet is 80% water. And that is also an explanation as to how Earth got all of its water. During the heavy bombardment when the Earth formed, many comets crashed into the Earth, conveniently delivering water and jumpstarting life on our planet. It's fair to say that comets played an important role in our existence. So let's then see what would it be like to stand on their surface. Now since we still don't have very clear pictures of Halley's Comet, let's land on another comet. Let's see Churyumov Gerasimenko. Its other name is 67P and that's what I'll refer it to since it's a lot easier to pronounce. So as you would approach the comet, you would see a bit of gas surrounding the comet. And while looking at it directly, it would be clear that you're not looking at a very large object since it would be so deformed. There is no gravity to even pull it into a normal shape. And it is only like 4 kilometers at its widest. As you would approach it, it would appear more and more deformed until you finally land. And your lander would also somehow need to get its bottom attached to the surface so that you could get out. Immediately, as you would try to even step onto the surface with your spacesuit, that would pose a bit of a challenge as the gravity is 10,000 times lower than it is on Earth. So you would be 10,000 times lighter. It would almost feel as if you're just in space. You'd barely feel anything pushing you downwards. So walking on the surface of 67P would be impossible. The escape velocity of the comet is only 1 meter per second square, which you could achieve just by jumping. So if you jumped on this comet, you would successfully escape its gravity and go floating in space. So floating around the surface would be possible, but also very dangerous as you could easily push yourself off the ground and start to get away from the surface, which would be bad as then you would not be able to do anything. No amount of kicking or movement will do anything to help. There is no air there and you would die after a couple of hours when the oxygen depletes. Meaning you would need to be attached to your spaceship so that you could pull yourself back. So depending on where you landed, the ground would seem different. It should be all very dark and gray though. There are 26 different regions on the comet. So you could see a very dusty ground, a smooth one, a rock-like one, and one with lots of pits and big holes. As you would look into the distance, it would vary a lot as it has 26 different regions, but you would most likely see big ragged dark cliffs, which you could also climb very easily as there is no significant gravity from stopping you. Looking up at some places, you could notice the outgassing. It would look like a bit of a cloudy haze, but at other places on the comet where there is no outgassing, you could see the stars very clearly. So, all of the pictures of the comet are real and were taken by Rosetta spacecraft which was sent by the European Space Agency in 2004 and it arrived on the comet 10 years later in 2014. But there is a new sample return mission that should be launched in 2024 through the comet 67P. So this is an interesting comet as all comets are and it looks like new missions and discoveries are going to happen.